morning. It's jelly time. Right, um, one of my subbies um, actually asked me a gel, about gel plates and stuff. Um, yeah, it really is down to personal choice on what you're going to do with it, I always think. But um, I've just been on Amazon and done some price comparisons. Um, so this one here is the 8x10. That's the first one I got. Now that is about four years old and it's fine. This is a bit noisy, sorry. I don't use it very often. Yeah, so it's fine. As I say, four years old. This is the 8x10 eight, eight and, you know, as you can see, it's just a big blob of jelly. Um, keep the clamshell cases whenever you get one. I went for the uh, gel press brand because of the price difference, I'll be honest with you. So the 8x10 in the gel press brand is uh, currently on Amazon at £20.60p. I don't know if you can see that. My handwriting's really bad. Um, the 5x7 is £13.40. And then I've just recently... I forgot to get them. Hold on. I've just recently treated myself to the uh, three set that they do, which has got the little square, the oval and the hexi. I really wanted the hexi, but they don't do it separately. So that's why I've bought that. And that is currently trending at £14.26p. So the difference is the 8x10 Jelly Arts brand is £35.00 three pence at the moment on Amazon you might be able to find it elsewhere cheaper I haven't looked I've just gone Amazon because that's where a lot of people buy stuff so basically what I'm trying to say is the my purchases were based on price okay so this is a jelly arts one sorry gel press one I'll just put that back together um the other one that you're seeing hold on I'll just hang it back up where it goes I'm not using that one today. The other one you're seeing here is a set by Ranger. As you can see, they're all, you know, stained. Um, it's okay. It's useful. This, this size is very useful. The circle's useful. I have used that, but again, for what I do, which is printing, a lot of it is printing on fabric and card. Um, yeah. When I bought this, it was £21. Um, I've just been on um, Amazon, and at the moment it's trending at £39. I wouldn't pay that personally. Uh, yeah, that's up to you. It'll be a personal choice. Um, I couldn't find them. So anyway, so I've got that one as well. And then I decided, because I was getting more and more frustrated with not being able to print A4 sheets in whole, I went for the big one. I think this is 14 by 12. Let me grab my ruler. Uh, I think this is the biggest one. Again, it's the uh, Jelly Arts, no, Gel Press brand. Sorry, I'll get them so mixed up. So it's 12. Yeah, 14 by 11 and a half but that's plenty I just wanted to be able to print a5 um, a4 paper which um, I think also if you're in the states it would do your letter size I can't remember what size it is but anyway as I say there are two different brands there is a gel press and there is jelly arts all right so you check out it's up to you what budget you've got they do do a square one uh, jelly arts do a square one um, but again they're quite expensive but as I say, completely up to you. There is, I've also found this recently. It's a makeup, well, I don't know what you do with it. I'm not into makeup, but um, it again is jelly and it prints beautifully. It makes marks. So um, yeah, so that's that really. Uh, today I want to do some printing on fabric. So I'm gonna use my big one. Now, the other nice thing with these gel plates is that you don't, sorry, this is going to be noisy, you don't just have to use the whole plate. You can use it as a palette. So, sorry, I haven't opened these for months and they just kind of suck on. Oh, on. Let go. Right. 
take it out of the packaging as I say I've not it's been I can't remember the last time I did gel printing actually which is shocking I love gel printing my package arrived damaged that's the only reason I've got all this tape on here but you definitely need to keep the big clamshell you can get rid of the acetate inside a lot of gel printer gel plate printing people recommend that you get rid of the acetate because it leaves bubbles and marks mm, I don't know I'm kind of you know it might do sorry I'm just looking for my um, glass mat which is here as organized as ever I put this one on this is a worktop saver you know just one of those plastic uh, um, ugh, glass ones uh, I just use it as a big mounting board so uh, if you keep putting your gel plate on paper it can remove some of its oils and things so I just found this worktop saver it had a really naff print on it which when I turned it over I was able to remove the print so it became a clear piece of glass that's it <laughs> all right I'm just trying to get it down quite smoothly and we're good to go uh, you can clean them you can keep them immaculate it's completely up to you I tend not to worry too much a lot of people don't uh, they do get to a point where you do need to give them a clean uh, in which case I just put them in some warm soapy water in a big trough it's actually an old cat well it's not an old it's a new cat litter tray because it was the only thing big enough um, with some warm soapy, soapy water leave it soak for a bit and then just gently remove the um, acrylic paint right I think that's enough blathering on now so uh, yeah it takes um, as I say it's completely up to you uh, what size you go for and the other thing you need is lots of mark making stuff and stencils which is this tub here I will grab them out bits by bit and of course paint now you can go for the cheapest acrylic paints because they work perfectly well you do not need to have artist grade paints for this uh, you can get the um, little crafters choice ones sorry I'm wandering around my room here uh, yeah you can get the crafters choice ones you know those little tubs um, I tend to I'm in the UK so I tend to hit Hobbycraft when they have their half price sale on and I get the um, PBO ones okay I just buy those they usually do them at two pound a pop I spent uh, 50 quid last time and just went and filled up this is my oh, tub my big box and it weighs a ton of paints so I'm set for years that's going to last me a long long time now at Christmas if you've been with me a while you'll know I treated myself to these I have not opened these Chris that is sin isn't it all right so I'm going to use some of those today um I don't know I just want to pet them for a little bit longer um you yeah, know it's time to use them Susan get over it so I tend to just sort of have paints all on one side scrap paper laid down and then I've got a bit of room around here I've cleared off all the tables so that I can lay prints because you need lots of room it's so addictive that is the other warning I must give you a yeah addiction warning right um I think I think that's all the yabbering I need to do for printing on you can print on just um bog standard printer paper uh a4 a3 whatever you can fit on uh fabric i've got all sorts of fabrics here i've got some canvasy type fabric i've got some ossenberg fabric which is that nice thin you know that weighty stuff uh that's all thick stuff i also print on multi-purpose cloth which is this here i have it in my shop if you want it, it takes print beautifully and it doesn't fray okay it's a weird kind of fabric but it does gel printing beautifully it takes the paint really well um yeah so i've got i've got a ton of scraps actually so i'm going to try and use these up um these are left over from when i sell the meterage um because i never cut things straight <laughs> um yeah so that i mean that to me is ideal size for sorry the sun keeps in and out in and out it can't make up its mind what it's doing i'm hoping you're seeing this all right yeah i think you are uh, yeah so anyway I'm just going to faff around and do stuff because I bought that hexy thing the hexy gel 
plate thing in there. Hang on. Yeah, any card, any paper, it's completely up to you what weight you use. Uh, you can print on rice paper, you can print on deli paper, you can print on Amazon packaging paper, which is what I've got under here. <sighs> right, time to play. Just picking off all the crusty bits that I don't particularly want on. Right, so I'm actually going to, I don't know, am I? I was just thinking, am I going to use it as a palette today or am I going to print with it? Right, this is brand new. I've not been in here yet. Yeah, I fancy the, the hexagon because I want to try doing some almost like patchwork shapes. I'll just squeeze that one out of there. Don't need the other ones at the moment. Put that over there. So, oh, look at it all brand shiny new. Yeah enjoy you won't be like that for long so what i mean about using it as a palette um you can put your paint on here and then with this one i can dab it in lift off the color and print it on my fabric um i don't know which way around to do it i'll be honest with you i think what i'll do i'm going to start on a little bit first because i've not used these before so i'm just going to get some method going what i might do is get my big acrylic block actually and mount that on there because that acetate is a little bit a little bit wobbly just, just put that all there yeah so i can now use that as a stamp basically and i'm just thinking thinking you can probably hear it i don't know if you can see i've got bubbles under there i need to try and get rid of those because they will weirdly transfer so the, the best way is to sort of pinch it together and let it lay down slowly. You end up with some, but hopefully that won't transfer. No, I've got, ne got nearly all out. Well done. If you just push it like that, it comes to the edge and then they disappear. Right. Okay, so I've got no bubbles now, so that's nice and clear. I've got to keep an eye on the time I'm babysitting this afternoon. Grandma duties. Um, right, sorry, I just need to go and blow my nose. I'll be back in a second. Right, sorry about that. Hay fever. Okay, um, while I was off screen, I actually gathered some more bits and bobs. Um, I picked out some... Uh, I love these sort of pages out of big books. Uh, they're just the index pages, but they're great for printing on. So I put a bit of the back here. I've got my big tile here and a piece of funky foam, which you get in the kitchen. You know, it's not, it's everywhere, funky foam. Because I'm going to be kind, it's kind of stamping, basically, using the hexi. So I think what I'm going to do, I've, so I've been off screen for a bit. But I think what I'm going to do is make this my palette, put my um hexi in there and then print on the fabric and just give it a go so i've not used this yet so um uh but first i want to get some color on this um background so, so there's a lot of disjointedness and i do apologize that um i'm just trying to think of what i want to actually do so i'm going to try my golden fluids they're brand new it's very exciting but they're highly pigmented apparently i don't know oh the other things i forgot to say was you're going to need a brayer okay um whatever size you want really i mean i've got a i think that's a four inch one and a two inch one they're quite handy well you need them um could you do it without them probably not and i can't get in this <laughs> ah, there we are Right, let's give these golden fluids a go. Let's, let's break them in. So I know they're really pigmented, so I'm not going to go mad with quantity. I'm going to use the little brayer. Well, that goes a long way. Okay. Um... Uh, do I want stencil now? Sorry, let me just think. No. Alright, I'm just going to print the um, put the colour on here. You get very messy, by the way. You can, if you want, put a sheet of paper over the top. 
you know if you're doing the whole thing and you only want a little bit in the middle and um, to protect your hands a bit you can use a big piece of paper and rub over the top of that um, if your hands get tired uh, you can get something called a baron uh, this is a wooden tea light holder I've showed this many times um, yeah and it's nice and smooth on the bottom so basically you just need something that's smooth but you can get something called a baron which is specific it's more for lino printing to be honest with you rather than gel printing but you can use it for both okay so we've got a bit of a background going on here we've got a lot of fabric uh, paint left down here so we're not going to waste any of that golden fluid we are going to pick that up still stayed there <laughs> it's not helpful right okay i'm not going to muck around too much right so for my hexes um i want to do a color and then i want to put a stencil on top and put another color so i'm gonna sorry i should have opened these before i started i might go back to my yeah, that's going to be a faff. Right, let me get my... Right, hold on. Let me get my PBOs out. Um, right. Oh, it's nothing quite like being organised, Susan. Yeah, not. Okay, these are the PBO ones, which are a lot thicker than the golden fluids. So, so I want to... Pick up as much, well, hang on. Okay, work directly on your shape. <laughs> oh, it's good here, isn't it? I'll tell you. It is the first time I've used them, to be fair. Right. Be nice. If nothing else, I can show you how not to do it. Right, so work on your little... And of course there's a cat hair. Wouldn't be one of mine, would it? Sorry, I'll just get my head over a bit. I think that's on the spot. A very slight gap in the printing. Okay, cool. I'm going to print off the page now, so I want to get that under there. You've seen this, yeah. You're just going to use these little ones you won't actually need a big one to be fair because you can you can use these direct onto paper and fabric you don't need the uh, you don't need the big one but I don't just do this I do all sorts okay tiny drop on there you only need little bits of paint sorry the sun's gone in now isn't it goodness it would be too dark I was going to put the washing out, but we've just been for a really long walk down the forest with the, my youngest daughter's dog. And um, I said to her, I need to get my washing out. She went, I don't bother, Mum. Have you seen the forecast? I was like, nope, I haven't. So, yeah. She said, yeah, don't bother. Okay. It can wait. It's not like I haven't got lots and lots of bedding. I think I might leave those gaps. I don't know if you can actually see very close up. Shall I drag you down a bit? Or you might be there. You might want to see close up. I don't know. 
Right, so the next plan is... Let me, I'm going to drag you down a tad. You can hopefully see a little bit better. Uh, right. For my next trick... <laughs> oh, this is the state I get in until I get in the rhythm. See how you tell I haven't done it for a little while. Just going to clean the brayer, put that paper back up there. I'll give that a wipe in a minute. Oh, sorry, just bonked you. Um, okay, so what I want to do next, again, I have not done this before, so bear with me. Get rid of that. I want to lay the stencil on here and then do the stamping through. I wonder if that's going to work. Let's try it on paper first. As I say, I don't know, you're experimenting with me. I hope you're all right with that. Um, need something that will show up on that red. Blue will. Although it ought to be green. Right, let's use this. This is a nice one actually. It's an emerald. Emerald green. Now then let me think. Um, yeah, I think just solid colour on here. If the paint wants to come out. Thank you. They're getting a bit old. These paints, I need to get them used up. I don't know if this is jelly enough to push through the stencil, so we're just going to do a practice run here first. What I want to see is what I get underneath, which is not a lot. I wonder what you get left. Sorry guys, I should have practiced this before I turned the camera on. No, don't stick to the paper. I don't think getting what I'm trying to do. I want to somehow push through. Thinking, can you hear it? Maybe it needs to be something a bit more open than that. So, I wonder if that'll be any better. Let's try it, shall we? When you're rolling, it's best to lift your roller up like that so that it spreads the paint quicker and easier. Now the interesting thing is, is that I will have that indent on there. Can you see the pattern on there? That works beautifully. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Um, I wonder what that will print like. Let's grab a spare bit. If it will print at all. Oh, I likey, likey. Can you see that? And that's just pushing it through, lifting it off, and then that's the pattern left. So you get the positive and the negative. Interesting. All right. I gave in and got some more baby wipes. I use them. It's not like I don't use them for stuff, so... I want to clean that off because I want to clear print. Right, okay. Um, do I like the green? I don't think I do. <laughs> Sorry. 
See, I get in such a mess when I'm doing this. I don't even know why I'm trying to keep clean, actually. Because it's not going to happen. Put those down there out of the way. Leave that there. I think, I think, do I prefer lime or do I want white? Or gold? I do white and I think I do gold on top. It's radical. But, you know, nothing ventured. I don't know. Again, I should have practiced before I switched the camera on. But I didn't, so you're here with me right now. We're playing together. This could be a long one. Get a kettle on, make a cup of tea. I'll give you a warning in the title of the video. <laughs> Some of you like a long one, some of you hate me for it, I don't know. This is probably going to transfer the green as well. Right, concentrate. Let's put that on there. I'll get two sides on, hopefully. Nice thing is, you can see it actually transferring. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Don't know if you're seeing that. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, the green's on there as well, but no, it's okay. No, it's okay. I'll let it off. Um, now then, I don't really want it touching that one. Let's put it up here. This is the transfer off. Not as strong, but it wouldn't be because it's uh, it's not as wet. Okay, that's okay. I can live with that. Do some other colours as well. Let's try this rose pink. And white. <laughs> Can you bray a properly season? Nope. I love it when it gets all mixed up anyway, so it's fine. I'm gonna do the same stencil, but this time. Sorry if my bonce gets in my head, gets in the way. I just need to hover and then push. Ooh, nice colour. I like that one. I might go over this one a little bit. And then with the gold, I want to go over with a different stencil. Cool. Like. Love. Right, so that's enough of that one. This one might be really good as well, actually, because it's quite open, isn't it? Let's give that one a go. Um, I think I want to stick with the reds and the... I've got vermilion red here. These are the cheapies from, um, if you're in the UK, from Home Bargains. 99p. And they're pretty good, actually, to be fair. So, right, let's clean the brayer this time, shall we, Susan? White is still coming off. It's okay. I'll let it off. That 
my head really might get in the way for this one, I do. Sorry. And the idea is, once this is printed and dried, is that I stitch over it and do other things with it. Might become a little art book or something. I don't know. I don't have a plan that far ahead, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> As you probably know, if you've been with me for a while. Check those big ones on the floor. Another load of fabric there. Lordy, lordy. Let's make my little ones. There we are. We have some, should we have some gold bubbles? What do you reckon? We've got some wavy lines. Stars. Oh, let's do some little stars. Twinkle, twinkles. Okay. Where's my cloth go? Is it? I'm not going to take ages finding it. It's here somewhere, I have no doubt. This is why I wear my dirty old trackies when I'm doing stuff like this, because I'm a nightmare. I wipe everything on my trousers. <laughs> right, so I think some little gold stars now. Let's get rid of this red. I don't know if the... Uh, this is helping or not but we'll keep it there for a bit right okay i don't think this is super shiny this one but let's have a look it might not even show up actually Yeah, I don't think it will, but we'll give it a go. It's going to be hard to see the shape through this one. Oh, I can't see. Get that there, and I might be able to get the top lined up, if nothing else. Got a different one there. What are you? Slightly lighter one. Let's see what this does first. No, doesn't show at all. Well, it does. Yeah, I can see them sparkling there, but it's not. Um, looky, looky, that's pretty. Let's see if this does anything. I'm just going to rummage one. Pushing that down. Just trying to think what colour would look be, be best. Silver. Silver would show up. Oh, there's nothing else. It's made it super sparkly. I think you can pick up on the sparkles on there. It's not quite what I wanted though. I actually wanted to see the design. Maybe, not silver, let's just go back over with white. Maybe white with gold mixed in it, what do you reckon? A sparkly white. We will soon find out. Anyway, as you can see, you can have lots of fun with this. You can do all sorts of stuff. Um, 
I'm not going to put it away. I need to do some papers and stuff because I just don't have any at the moment. That is doing absolutely nothing on there. Um, yeah, so I'll be um, job printing for probably what time I've got left today and then probably tomorrow as well. But I won't be filming all of that because it will drive you insane. Yeah, you can kind of see them. All right. Okay. I think I'll make that do, guys. Um, let me give you a close-up on what I've done there. I'll just lock that back over. Get rid of that. Yeah, this was just, as I say, um, one of my subbies asked about gel printing and, you know, what's the best thing. It really is down to what you want to do on it. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, as I say, I've got the big one here. And obviously got little ones. Uh, yeah, it depends what I want to do. Let me give you a close up on that. As you can see, it transferred quite well. And if I can just get it in the sunlight, you can just see the sparkly gold bits. But yeah, my my thinking is that I want to do some big pieces like this, and then actually make some patchwork bags, but faux patchwork. So stitching in between the lines here. Yeah, I think it looked quite good. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to carry on playing. I'm going to let you go because I don't, I mean, it's a bit boring otherwise, isn't it? And I don't have that speed up facility on this phone. So um, there you go. That's what I'm up to. Any questions, put them down below and then I can always do another session to address those. But like I say, with the gel plates, it really is down to whatever budget you've got. Um, mine was a small budget. I had to go for the cheapest I could and, and they've worked well. I mean, for that, you know, the 8x10 one to be four or five years old and still I can get it out of the box and use it, that's fine by me. You know, that's no problem at all. So, um, and the other thing you can do when your stencils are, when you finish doing it, is rub your stencils off onto your clean-up paper and you get, well, that one's little stars, obviously. Um, that way you don't need to waste a single bit of paint. Right, I'll do this. I'll let you go and you might actually see this one. Yeah, there you go. So you get secondary patterns and you keep working and it just keeps going. <laughs> it's, it's just the paint that keeps on giving. You can only do this on stencils that haven't got little wispy bits. That one that I was trying to do the flowers through, um, that one would catch on the cloth horribly. Um, so yeah, it'd be a right pain, basically. I have ordered some new stencils, actually, um, because of my two very generous ladies that um, sponsored me through the uh, buy me a coffee thing. Um, I hope you don't mind, ladies, but that's exactly what I um, used them for. Uh, once they arrive, I will show you what I got and do a proper big thank you to... Um, I won't name you. I don't know whether you want your names out there. So if you comment on this video that you're happy to have a shout out, I will do so. <laughs> I'm always worried about, you know, because, um, well, especially at work, it's all about GDPR and, you know, don't give out people's names and blah, blah, blah. So I never quite, I'm never quite sure whether to say names or not. Anyway, there you go. That's what I'm going to be able to for the, as long as I've got left today. I've got Babysit Scarlet from Hubbos 2 till god knows when so uh, yeah i uh, shall be having a little bit of fun i'll see you on the next one bye